City and how you feel about playing in the same game with him. Is he playing? He said so. He, he wants to play. The hope is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, like you said, I played against a lot of great ones so far, but I mean. Me personally, I mean, I think he'd be at the top. Uh, just, you know, what he's done for the game, what he's done, you know, in his career. Um, not many, you know, have been able to do what he's done. And, uh, you know, he's obviously one of the best ever played. So, looking forward to it. To be honest, I mean, yeah, I mean, the age gap. Uh, and, I mean, he's, you know, he went to Purdue, so it wasn't like I kind of, you know, I wasn't really, I didn't really know who he was at, you know, when I first, when I was growing up, but quickly I, I learned about him for sure. What's it like for you? You know, obviously the team struggled for a few weeks; it took a while to win games, but now you're seven games in, three and three with a tie, and, and suddenly you're kind of playing for maybe playoff position. Is that pretty cool to not necessarily be rebuilding right now to be playing for something? Uh, I mean, I'm not really worried about all that. Uh, just trying to come in every week, you know. Get better as a team. Get better, you know, me personally, and um, you know, go out on Sunday and put our best foot forward and play our best game. What are you seeing from the Saints defense? A good defense. Anything particular concerning? No, they're a great team. What, you've only thrown four picks and zero in the last few games. What do you think has um, gone into that? The, the good ball security you have with Bumble? I think just understanding more so, you know, what we're trying to do on offense. Um, and then seeing the, seeing the field, like I said, you know, the more reps I get, I think the more reps anybody gets at something, you know, the better you should be off. But, uh, you know, the more I'm out there, the more comfortable I feel. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Does Cliff stress that a lot? He seems like he talks about it a lot, the negative plays and the turnovers mm -hmm. things to, to make sure those don't happen. I mean, turnovers are going to happen. Um, negative plays are going to happen. But, yeah, I think that was kind of an emphasis for us was to, you know, or for me is to not, you know, but on Sunday, I had a couple, but, um, you know, kind of limiting those, just throw the ball away or, you know, throw it at somebody's feet if nothing's there. Um, just trying to, like I said, limit those, you know, going backwards. How much has the offense changed over seven weeks, eight weeks now? Um, he's done like preseason or just? No, since the start of the year. Yeah, it's just, um, I think it's, you know, it's a different offense to kind of, you know, get everybody on the same page with just because, a lot of gray area in some areas, you know, um, a lot of feel. So uh, once the guys kind of got the grasp of it, I think that's how, you know, we've evolved and gotten better. But, I mean, we still got a lot of work to do. Chase Chase. seems like a, a pretty popular guy in the locker room. Who? Chase. Mm -hmm. why, why do people like him so much? Why is it so fun to kind of watch him kind of have the success he's having? Uh, he just brings good energy, you know, every day. He's locked in. I mean, he's a fun guy to be around. Uh, goofing off all the time, but he knows when to be serious. And uh, I mean, he just wants to win. So at the end of the day, I mean, you got a guy like that. I think everybody, you know, likes somebody like that. Obviously, he helped you guys get that win, but just like for him personally, what do you think that game meant for him? What was it like? <sighs> Chase, from, Chase is from uh, up up north right? or up there. Yeah, so I mean, it was just good for him. I mean, anybody want to go back home and, you know, play well and not only play well, but have three touchdowns and kind of, you know, put the offense on his back, you know, along with the line. I mean, uh, that's a good day. So, I mean, it, it's just, I'm happy for him. I know everybody else is happy for him, but, you know, we just got to keep it going. Has he surprised you? I mean, uh, you think he was this good? I mean, I knew what we had him, you know, when I first got here, seeing, you know, how he ran routes, um, you know, how he ran with the ball, just how versatile he was. Uh, so, I was fond of him when I got here. If the two new running backs have to play, are there any complications that you guys have to figure out quickly, you knowing they just got to um, no, nah, I mean, I'm sure they'll be, you know, right up to speed come Sunday. Um, you know, they've been in the league, so they kind of understand how it is. So, um, I'm not really worried about it, no. When you guys ran the ball, when you did um, Cincinnati and, and carried on, it, it seems like there's more of an emphasis on that. How do you feel about that switch in the offense going to a post on that? Um, I mean, whatever opens up, you know, holes and whatever moves the ball, Whatever puts the ball in the end zone, you know, whatever gives us wins, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with. What? <laughs> no, yeah. No, I mean, when you can run the ball, I mean, it, 
everybody knows that you run the ball. I mean, it opens up the pass game. So um, I think that we've we've ran the ball pretty successfully the last uh, three or four weeks, um, and I think that's why we've you know had success. How many things haven't we seen from the offense? And I know there's a bunch of plays we haven't run. Uh, is there a big chunk that someday we'll get to see or we'll get to show? I think it's all a process. Um, you know, I think you know we got a lot of. A lot of growing to do. I think there's a lot more room to improve for sure. Um, him and Russell were two of the guys that you know I really watched closely, just because, like you said, we're, we're kind of same in stature. But um, I mean, obviously he's one of the best to do. I can't really break down everything that he's done, but um, no, I, I paid attention very closely. Was that, that come starting? up at all during the pre-draft process? No, before or like, yeah. Did you start watching them specifically because of those similarities, or you were just like, these are great quarterbacks, and also this helps me watch them too? Uh, both. Mm -hmm. No. No. Are you excited to see how you guys do against a really good team on the road like this? It seems like a good test. Yeah, it's a very good challenge for us. Um, you know, on the road in a hostile environment, uh, kind of the first real one. You know, well, Baltimore was too, but. Uh, you know, this team's very good, and I mean, we know that, so you know, we got to put, you know, a great week together, go out there and, you know, play well to win it, so. What will the win against these guys show you about this team? About us, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Do you have any thoughts about just playing in that stadium? Um, no, I, I didn't get to play in it, but we played in the Sugar Bowl uh, against Auburn there, so I, I've been there before, but. It's not quite like, you know, when New Orleans is playing it. So we'll, I haven't, you know, we'll see.